so hi all so we let's see this question what does this question say so you can see like uh, for the convenience purpose i have written down this question here okay and i have also figured out what are the requirements for this quiz form okay so here let's read this question like i got one question by the interview fine he asked me to create a interface okay and we want to create a quiz form so quiz form i have taken it as my first requirement as a quiz form fine with four options that is also like we have to give four options and the form should be dynamic fine and when we click on submit it should display the count of correct answers so how many correct answers or uh, you have been attempted okay that should display so this is the third requirements okay so now let's try to build it out okay so first of all uh, we have to create a, a quiz form or you can say like anything uh, where we can take a section layout to display the questions fine and let's rename, uh, rename it as quiz okay fine and here uh, if you observe that quiz are like what one label is there okay so if i type like quiz questions so one question is there and then four options are there so let me just google it so like this huh like this it is so you can see like one question then choice are given so for that purpose we will take radio buttons here radio button does the same thing exactly so you can see like it has one label so it will act as my question and the two options are there it will act as my options that's fine so we have decided on uh, radio buttons now first of all i we have to add the questions okay so let's take it out and write first of all what we have to figure it out okay so the steps you can say roughly the steps okay first of all we have to add the questions since this was asked on interview we don't have to go on the db level it uh, there are there isn't that much time so a bank we will give with local variables okay now local bank questions so first of all we have to display here the questions and the options okay so how to add question can i directly add like this uh, can i make it like this like an array of objects and add the questions okay uh, we want to be able to you know like get the data we have to get the data from that uh, questions as well so what we will do here is we will use one appian function called map map is very important function here it plays so let me add just one question will show you a bank map what does it say it creates a kind of dictionary so in the dictionary i can keep something like question okay let's keep a very simple question like what is a cdt okay and let me just uh, what is the CDT that's fine and then we can add some options as well okay let me add the options and options will be what uh, now for for now like let me just add something uh, as uh, you can say CDT is data type data type you can say something like this or for the sake of convenience we will just try to keep it like a or you can say like b or c we have to give four options and d so these are the four options that i have given as of now okay okay fine and let's give a comma here okay so what is the error okay not 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 any error let's test it out and you can see like one question has been prepared see one question was there what is a cdt and four options are there okay so first of all uh, we used used map function okay and then in that we added the question as well and after that their options also were added what are the correct options for them okay so now that's fine so now we have to add another 
another question this is just one question we can uh, we have to add another question so i can't give comma and then add so i would have to create an array of map then only i will be able to add multiple questions so to create an array let me just make it an array here that's fine okay so now let me just copy this here and okay we'll paste it and instead of this we will just write it what is a record and let's change the options as well u d and k and s that's fine okay so these are the two questions so let's uh, okay now let me just click on test and you can see like now two questions are added every question has a every question has a question label what is and their options are, are there as well now now this is a radio button currently only one radio button is used but if two questions are there then i want two radio buttons if in future third fourth fifth will be also added then i want that many radio buttons okay so how how we can do it uh, uh we can't hard code that so instead of that what we can do here is we can create a loop like whatever the number of questions are there it will iterate that time so we can use here a bank for each a bank for each okay and now in the items items like where is the data over which you want to iterate so our data is in the local bank questions and in the expression in the expression what i want to give every time for every question i want to display a radio button field so i will just keep everything here cut and paste okay so now you can see automatically two radio buttons have come because two questions are there what if i copy the same thing here and now paste it here and instead of this what is a data type okay and now let me just click on test and you can see another radio button has came up okay and let me just give some random okay v and a that's fine so their options are also there so now you can see in the radio button field all the options are now coming now a radio buttons the label now we want that the label of the question every question has a label of its own we want to access that label that every radio button should have automatically that labels currently you can see the label is hard coded here so we will remove the hard coded part and we will write fv bang item so fv bang item is used to access we have we use to access each element of an you can see it from the data so you can see that here uh, question is the key and this is the value of the key so what we can do if i write every so every bank item everything is like a, the whole uh, data has been written here but we don't want that okay we want only question so let me write the question that's fine and now you can see automatically the question has populated and we should also add the numbering as well so for the numbering part we can go with every bank uh, index okay so fb bank index and then we can add and okay fb bank index and then we can add and and then we can add a bit of dot and a space and again and that's fine okay instead of this let me just remove this and this as well fine and this is not supporting okay and this one as well fine so now you can see that the options are now populated as well so you can see like it is what is now for the option part what we should do with the option currently again you can see that it is hard coded option 1 and option 2 we already have our options here if for everything it is something different so let's see first of all we will go with fb bank item and whole the data will display 
<laughs> okay currently see this radio button used to break because choice levels and choice values should be exactly same if it is a v bang item so it should be also a v bang item then only it won't break so again you can see that we have to go inside the options where are our options a b c d it is inside the options key so we have with the help of dot we will go with options and now you can okay so here we i i I have to go from both the sides and now you can see that our options are also populated see first part is done like uh, uh, create a quiz form four options fine it is done okay so now everybody has different options as well now when I click on the value okay so why we are giving the value let's see that as well so currently if I click on any option and click anywhere it is disappearing these are not holding the values so in order to hold the values we have to give something in the selected so where we should add if I add something you know like uh, in the map only let's add it so apart from options so let's say selected key one will will add and it will be null for now okay so whatever the options that we will select it will also be there and I guess one more map was there yeah so all this key I have added there selected is currently null and when we select on this value so it will get fb bank item dot selected so it will populate in that and for save into as well we will use a bank save and where we have to save the data we have to save the data in fb bank uh, you can say like fb bank item dot selected we have to save the data and what is the value that we have to save we can use save by value whatever the value it is there it will automatically get saved here now let's see this option if you if i selected b so here b is getting selected if i selected s then s is there if i selected p then p is there automatically these values are selected so th this was about this quiz one so these things are there now we have we have to move on to our second part so this part like creating a quiz form was done okay four options was done we are able to select the option as well now moving to the second part so this is kind of second part when we click on submit it should display the count of correct answers so it says that there should be a button to click on submit okay so let's add a button as well for the submit part okay so where is the button here okay so let's just add this button in order to save it so and we will rename this button as submit okay so we'll, let's rename this button as submit okay so now when we click on submit it should display what is the uh, what is the question like it should display the count of correct answer it means that we have to create a different interface as well or you can say a different card as well which will be displayed when we click on submit and it will show the number of correct answers okay so for that purpose what we can do here is uh, we can take a card layout okay and fine so this card will only be visible when we click on submit else it won't be visible okay so it means that we have to control the visibility of card so local bank show card let's create one variable for that and let's keep it or you can say like okay let's create like this local bank show card and where is our card here and it will only show when when local bank show card okay local bank show card is equal to true only when it is equal to true now you can see in the ui we have got another error, error like type null and type boolean can't compare currently the show card is uh, you can say like it is null and it we have compared with true so that's uh, it is not able to compare so we have to give false here fine so now it is so only when i click so when I click on submit currently nothing is happening that's fine uh, well, it means that when we click on submit some values should go and save into this show card so that it will become what true right so let's try to save into 
save into is what a bank save and where it should go and save local bank show card and it will go and save true there that's it so now you can if i click on submit true and the card is now displayed that's fine now let's click on test for now this card is disappeared fine okay so in the card what we have to show here is ha huh, that is very important what we have to show we have to show the score in the card right so this is our uh, card layout so for that purpose uh, what we can do here is let's take a, a columns layout fine and in the columns layout what we will display here rich text so I'm just a bit better looking for that purpose I have taken here a rich text so let's configure that rich text I'm I'm not going to write much so we will just write like a bang rich text uh, item okay and the text is nothing but uh, your score your score let's make it uh, style will be strong okay and the size of it will be a bit large that's it so size is a bit large your score and after that we have to display the score so for displaying the score what we will do here is uh, let's give a bit of entire space for that we can use caratin and then again we can say like a bang rich text item and in the text we will display the score it means that we have to store the score as well somewhere so that we can directly display it here currently we don't have configured any variables for that okay so local bank score I have configured for now okay and now let's add the score here as well local bank score that's it so currently nothing is here so fine okay so now you can see like i have the cdt i have the record i have the data type that's fine but i need to get the correct answers how to get the correct answers currently like i don't know what is the correct answer for this one so inside the questions only what if we put a option of correct answer right if we put the correct answer and then we will compare the selected answers with the correct answer that's it that's will mostly resolve our issue if we know the correct answer so that we can already compare with this so let's say like answer key is there in the ABCD let's say C is my correct answer okay and here uh, the answer will be let's say like uh, U so u is going to be my answer and here my answer is going to be let's say uh, a so i have taken different uh, different answers as well so what is the correct so you can see if i selected b so currently like here b is selected but the answer is what c so like this and when i click on submit so i should be able to get my score fine so what we can do here is uh, now we we know what is the selected answer we know what is the correct answer so let's extract that data and then we will just do a comparison that's it so how to extract the data so first of all we have to create an array of a correct answer that will be correct only that's what i think in my behavior there can be other ways as well so local bank correct answer okay so how to get the correct answers so let's see uh, in order to get the correct answers where is the correct answers located so local bank question done local bank question and in that questions we have dot answer so if I use dot operator so all my answer you can see that automatically whatever are the correct answers c u a all are here all have came here right all have came here so just in order it doesn't break let me use property function for now done and if answer is not there just return null <laughs> i have written it outside okay without saying it happens sometime fine
now the correct answers i have done but i also need to get what were the selected answers right what were the selected answers so i for the selected answer i have to again uh, go inside the local bank question fine local bank question dot okay let me just put it here okay so currently you can see like if i go inside this i will get a key of selected and secondly it is null so local bank what is dot what is the selected that's it so currently you can see like selected answer is null 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 if i if i click on a the selected will become automatically you can see that selected is becoming a okay so let me just collapse so that it can come a bit uh -huh. if i select s if i select p then fine all these values are now coming so let me add the property here as well okay so this is the key and then just add null fine so selected answer i have got what was the correct answer i have got now i just have to compare so you uh, compare like what are the like do this array do this array you can see like i have got two arrays here do this array match with this array or not that's it so a simple comparison will give us the result so let's say like a uh, local bank result let's add one more variable here and to compare like uh, uh, let's give null so that it doesn't break hmm so you can see like these are my correct answers so let me add at least one correct answer okay i haven't added okay so now you can see like this is this is the correct answer this so we know that if i if i have to uh, what how i will compare each item of this will be compared to this and we have to know like it is there in this array or not okay so there is a function in appian called intersection what it does is that it will only return the item in the this array and it will subtract this array okay so the items in the for example c is there and c is here as well so it will return only c u and u both are not there okay both elements uh, both are different elements they are not there so it will return null and here as well it will return null because both elements are not present if both elements are present then only the value in the first array is returned value in the first array is returned so i can just do intersection so intersection is what where is our array one local bank correct how huh, make sure that array one is the correct answer then only we will be able to find the correct and the selected answer is this one so let's see what is the result we got c okay and we can just use the length operator as well length is does length does what it will give us like how many elements are there okay how many elements are there currently like everything is null and let me just use at least c u so you can see like two options okay so c u and v are there so i have i have c i if i do b so you can see the score is decreased okay and the same value i have to show it where local bank score instead of the score oh, okay uh, this variable <laughs> remains unused okay so we will use local bank result there instead of the score r e s u l t result okay so now if i click on the submit button okay so your score is 1 it's not looking good let's make it a bit better looking uh, where is our result ha huh. text let's make it style will be a bit strong for now okay and the color color will be uh, let's say positive okay so color is a bit positive and now the size size will be large okay so and here let's make the size as medium fine and it should be uh, you can say like uh, this text is there and it should be a bit of here hmm in the middle now it is in the middle almost your score 1 
so and now you can say like uh, what was the requirement when we click on submit it should display the count of correct answers so we are displaying the count of correct answers but this interface is still displayed if we don't want to show this ui at all i have taken this inside a section okay everything <laughs> everything is inside these sections only okay okay fine and so what we can do here is instead of this we can take out the cart layout from the section okay and uh, outside the section fine and we can show it here so card layout is add out and now the button is also there so let's take out the button as well okay here so the button as well and now you can see that if i click on let's put the show in as well so uh, currently like a card is there right so local bank uh, show card so if card is showing then it should not show so let me just put not here so it will work a bit opposite with the same variable we will do so you can see right and if i uh, if uh, if card is if uh, so if you can like just click on test for now you will get all the options let's click select some options let's click on submit and you will get our score okay so, and it should be become like back button something like this we can add that as well okay but uh, that was uh, these are the small things we can change it but that was also uh, for this question so this was my approach of handling there can be other ways as well of uh, answering this question maybe a bit more quicker uh, and uh, without using uh, so much of local variables as well uh, we can do it so let me just add a proper question and then we will get this answer so now you can see that i have modified the questions a bit i haven't used actually the previous questions their answers were too long okay so i have just just used this kind of questions okay so you can see like which minimum security is required to start a process so actually the let's say like actually the correct answer is initiator fine types of records are there so you can say like only three types of records are there how many gateways are there so you can say like xor is there or is there and and complex so four gateways are there if i click on submit so you can see my score is three all three questions i have given successfully so this is the kind of the ui that you can prepare yourself as well okay so you can uh, try it out with different questions as well so that's all in this video for now. Thank you.